Welcome to the Knowledge Seeker channel. This channel is dedicated to exploring critical issues in the world. The purpose of this presentation is to show that no religion is superior or godlier than another since all religions are products of their cultures. This presentation is motivated by the fact that many Africans tend to devalue or denigrate their indigenous religions by referring to them as idol worshipping while regarding their adopted religions particularly christianity and islam as being the most superior and godly religions in the world now what is religion religion can be defined using the oxford dictionaries as the belief in and or worship of a superhuman controlling power, especially a personal god or gods based on a particular system of faith and worship. Religion sets moral values and standards for society. Indeed, no religion is superior or godlier than another since all religions are products of their cultures as the people interact with their environment and others to develop unique cultures and religions. The problem is the manner in which religion is taught in school. In most formal educational institutions, religion is taught in various ways. In some societies, only a particular religion is taught, thereby creating the impression in the minds of students that it is the only religion in the world. In some societies, only the global religions including Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, and Judaism are taught. In some other societies, the curriculum stresses the list to include Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism and folk religions. Generally, folk religions are only covered superficially while the emphasis is on the major religions. Quite often, the indigenous religions, which are sometimes referred to as folk religions, are treated as non religions. In Christian and Islamic schools, quite often, the indigenous religions are condemned as being ungodly, satanic, and primitive. The tendency in such schools is to discourage students from accepting and subscribing to ancestral religions because they are considered ungodly. This is why in most parts of Africa, Native America, and some parts of Asia, students graduate from school with little or no knowledge of their cultures and religions, even though they have vast knowledge about Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, and Judaism. Here you have a Christian church and an Islamic mosque a Buddhist temple and a Jewish synagogue, an African shrine in Akan, Ghana, well, it should be stated that all religious priests and priestesses are the same, regardless of the faith they belong to. Unfortunately, in Africa and other non-Western parts of the world, due to Christian and Islamic influences, indigenous religions, religious priests and priestesses are regarded as fetish priests and priestesses and not as religious priests. In most parts of Africa, the Christians refer to Christian priests as men of God and the traditional priests as fetish priests and priestesses. 
This creates the impression that only Christian priests are men of God and the religious priests and priestesses of the traditional religions are not men and women of God. This is not true at all. The truth of the matter is that every ethno-linguistic and tribal group in the world has a unique culture and religion. This means that there are thousands of ethnic groups, cultures, and religions in the world. And the reason is because culture and religion are like living organisms in the sense that they develop from people's experiences as they interact among themselves with the environment and with significant others. The reason is that culture and religion always go together because they have a symbiotic relationship. Culture influences religion and religion influences the culture. Religion provides the theological basis for existence as well as the moral and ethical foundation for beliefs, values, and behavior. Culture cannot exist without religion and religion cannot exist without culture. Thus, every religion is a product of its culture and its environment. The Izo or Ijo religion has Urukare religion. The Akan people of Ghana have Akom. The Yoruba have Ifa. Christianity is associated with Jewish and Roman culture. Islam is associated with the Arabic culture. Hinduism is associated with Indian culture. Buddhism is a subcategory of Indian culture. The Mayan people have Kostumbre. The Vietnamese have Dao Mao. The Japanese have Shinto. The Chinese have Taoism and Confucianism, in addition to Buddhism. The Inca have Hakka or Waka. Similarly, most ethnic groups in the world have a name for God. In other words, almost every ethnic group has a name for a supreme God. As you can see, the Izon, the Hindus, the Akan, the Yoruba, the Maya, the Japanese, the Christians, the Muslims, the Jews, the Chinese, the Amori, the Vietnamese, all have names for the Almighty God. Similarly, most traditional or indigenous religions worship God through their ancestors and other beings and not through particular individuals. Some religions became globalized because they were spread through evangelization, wars of conquest, scattering, and fusion. Thus, Christianity and Islam were spread through evangelization, wars of conquest, scattering, and fusion. Judaism was spread by scattering of the people. Buddhism was mostly spread by evangelization and fusion. The indigenous or traditional religions emerge from their environments and cultures. Buddhism, Christianity, and Islam are identified with individual founders. So to believe in them, you have to believe in those who found these religions. Every religion engages in symbolism, idealism, and fetishism. In every society, there are individuals who are blessed with the gift of prophecy. Therefore, the ability to prophesy is not limited to Christianity and Islam or Judaism or Buddhism. Just as there are sacred places in Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, and Hinduism, there are also sacred places in other 
indigenous religions. Every religion has its unique beliefs, rituals, and festivals. Every religion has its holy men and women, as well as religious priests and priestesses. Many of the globalized religions are imperialistic, while indigenous religions are not. Thus, Christianity and Islam are the most imperialistic of the global religions because they cannot tolerate other religions. They always try to destroy other religions in order for them to start, become supreme. In conclusion, Christianity and Islam adopted many pre-Christian and pre-Islamic traditions. Therefore, no religion is superior to another because they all come from their cultural backgrounds. All religions are products of their environments. They perform the same service in every society. Since every religion is connected to a particular culture, it is inappropriate to use the tenets of one religion to judge the godliness and efficacy of another religion. Africans stop using Christianity and Islam to determine the godliness and efficacy of indigenous cultures and religions. It is preferable for people to subscribe to religions that are compatible with their cultures to avoid psychological conflicts. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Please subscribe to this channel. Again, thank you very much.